So here we go. Boom, Lugia! Oh my gosh, dude, look at how sick that looks. Fury claws, dude, look at those fury claws that I just want to stay far away from because wow. That's probably one of the coolest like custom artworks I've seen. Today, I'm buying weird Pokemon items on Etsy in hopes of finding treasure. And by treasure, I mean really cool things that you cannot find anywhere else. This is so sick! Shout out to our sponsor of this video, TCG Stadium. More on them later. And let's just hope that Etsy does not become regretsy. Like that one time I ate Taco Bell right before it closed. <laughs> First up, we have 130 school. What is that? Oh my gosh, this is sick. Oh, dude, this is so sick. Excuse my voice, it's still a little hoarse from Card Party. <laughs> At Card Party! But yo, bro, that is sick. Although, if it's anything like a rhinoceros horn, th that wouldn't actually be part of the school, right? Because a rhinoceros actually. Yeah, see? Like, a rhino doesn't have a... Why am I even getting into this? Look at how dope this looks. I love this so much. Like, what's the story behind this particular Gyarados? Did somebody catch it? Was it somebody's Pokemon who passed away and now they have it as sort of like a memory, which is a little bit sad. Maybe he wears it like a Cubone. I don't know. It is 69.50. Kiggity. We just gotta check this out. Here we go. Boom goes the dynamite. We got our first package. Look at that. Patrick Flynn. Nobody calls me Patrick. Unless you're my mom and you're mad at me. Anyway, let's see what's inside. Okay. Bubble wrap. Ooh, whoa. There's spikes coming out of here. Look at that. That is wild. Yo, what are Gyarados? Newborn. This is like a baby. This could have lived a good life. Cause of death, likely from a passing Zapdos thunder. I mean, I'm not clapping because of Gyarados died. I'm clapping because of the storytelling that's here. But like, this is kind of macabre. Dude, the color on this is wild. It looks like it's wood. Is this actually 3D printed? Is this an actual Gyarados? Wow. Wow. If he had a tongue, that's what it would look like. Yeah, there you go. We got a skull collection, I guess. I'll wipe that off. Squirtle Pokemon Jersey. Squirtle Squad, let's go. Squirtle. So we're going from something like super fierce to now something also super fierce because Squirtle Squad is awesome. On the back here, it's a Squirtle 7. Seven's a lucky number. We love that. $43.99. Fun tee, shop design, five stars. Let's do it. And it's here. I love the power of editing. You can just like skip a bunch of time. Yo. Yep. Same color I'm wearing right now. Yeah, let's let's go try this out. Crabby taxidermy museum style display. Bam! Yeah, I'd be crabby too if I was set up in this situation, but this is dope. It, it's sort of like, you know, at the museum, you see those like, butterflies and beetles and things like that. There are other kinds of Pokemon. So I'm gonna find one that if you know anything about this channel, you'll know why I picked this. So Little Root Boutique, $30.01, let's buy it. Package number three, just drop in the bucket, baby. I don't even know what that means. I just wanted to make that sound. I'm an only child. Okay, package number three. Five dollar tag on it, why? Oh, let's go. <laughs> now, if you don't know, during one of our streams a long time ago, when we were opening Hidden Fates, all we pulled, almost like, it felt like almost in every pack, it became, this Pokemon became the meme of the channel, and it was a Starmie! like a dead Starmie. What is with the dead Pokemon that were, this isn't, sorry kids, this is just a rub, it's just wood. It looks like it's painted wood, so don't be mad at me. Starmie, Seafoam Islands, Kanto region. Its central core glows with the seven colors of the rainbow. Some people value the core as a gem, and I value you as a gem, especially if you're part of the Gem Min Club. That's our membership here, so thank you. Love you guys. Every time we pull a Starmie, we'll pull this out and be like, yo, Starmie, keep coming out. This will be you in a frame in my office. That's kind of sad. It's not real, kids. Don't worry. Oh, little dusties. We got more dusties. We'll dust these off too. That was dumb. Shadow Lugia GX, Charizard GX, EX. That's so many keywords. Here's the thing. There's some other cards here that this person is selling that I'm gonna purchase and we're gonna look at them together. This is one of my favorite things to do on Etsy is buy these custom cards because just if only these were real, that would be so cool. Anyway. Boom, 
tiny package, but with big things inside. We got some Pokemon cards. And speaking of Pokemon cards, before I show these to you, I do want to let you know if you want to get real cards at a real good price, head on over to tcg-stadium.com. TCG Stadium, our sponsor of this video today. Be sure to sign up to their newsletter because they are one of the first people to always let people know when new things come out, where you can get access to anything from collection boxes to pre-orders for new sets and things like that. And you can also get a discount if you use the code PAT10 at checkout at tcg-stadium.com. All right, here comes the big reveal. You already know one of these cards. Love that. Let's see what we got here in this pile. We got Shadow Celebi. Look at that. Cool trainer Ryan, where you at? Mewtwo GX. That's a dope looking artwork. He's got the armor on which looks really cool. We got the Reds Blastoise. This looks like a base set Blastoise. Nice little hollow there. We got red down there. I like the vintage look. Gary's Blastoise. Look at that. Which one do you like better? Gary's Blastoise or Reds? I think I like Reds because of the hollow. Gary's looks cool too. And you got the water going over the Gary here and Gary down there as well. Giovanni's Tyranitar. Wow. If only these actually existed, I could definitely see them being a real thing. All right. We got Ashes Lugia. Yo, he's just coming out of the water there, doing his arrow blast. Wow, that is so cool. Whoa, who is that? I don't know who that is. Something's shining Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is definitely a fan favorite for sure. Can't make a wife out of a ho oh. oh. I don't know who that is. I'm not exactly sure. Next, we got Red's Pikachu. Very nice. Cool artwork. A little dark on the Pikachu there, but he's getting lit from behind. And this is a lit card. And behind it is Oak's Kanto Starter Trio. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure if I like that artwork. Kind of like bunched up in the middle and kind of coming over the edge. That's okay. Silver's Lugia. Wow. That is a dope artwork. This sort of like minimal, kind of like that slow poke from Vintage. Not much else to focus on. And you can just like appreciate the Pokemon. That is sick. Ashes Gorochu. Gorochu. That's not real. That's not real. <laughs> we know these aren't real. Ashes Gorochu into Ashes Pikachu. So it would actually be the opposite way, right? That is actually pretty cute. Ashes Charizard. That looks cool with like the red sort of flames. I like that. We got two of them. Okay, we'll, we'll have to give away on the future stream, I guess. Ash's Pidgeot. Love that artwork back there. It's almost reminiscent of, this is like the scene before the Moonrion scene. We got Giovanni's Gengar. I love Gengar so much. This is such a sick card. It's always weird that, you know, you think about it, that Gengar is a ghost, but he has like legs. He's a bipedal ghost. We got Red's Charizard. Okay, this one is dope. I love the sort of vintage looking. It, it has a sheen to it, which is really nice. It makes it look hollow, but it's not actually like a hologram like we're used to on these vintage cards. Red's Venusaur, so this must be Blastoise. Giovanni's Mewtwo, what? What's going on there? Dude, Mewtwo's way OP. That is some predator looking Mewtwo right there. That is actually really sick. And then we got Giovanni's Mewtwo again. Actually, I think I prefer this one, but I do like the predator style here. Here, but this artwork looks a little bit more classic. Nice, nice array of custom cards here. The star, of course, being the Lugia. Oh, there's the rock Pokemon, the weirdest thing. I still have that, by the way. I don't know why I still have it. My wife hates it. I just think it's funny. Deluxe Pokeball with stand. Bam! Nice job putting it on a mirror. That makes it look like jewelry, a little more regal. And that's why I want this. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. I'll figure it out. But this will make me feel like I'm, I'm a part of Pokemon royalty, I think. 61, 61. Only one left. Next up, a parcel coming in from Royal Mail. And I'm royal excited. I actually am really excited. Anybody else like bubble wrap as much as I do? Right, anyway. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Ooh, okay, yeah, definitely spray painted and a little detail there. Look at that, that looks great. With some gold and silver and some blingage. Oh, dude, this is sick. I am impressed. Dude, there's like felt in here. Dude, that's crazy. What could I put in here? Nope, the Gyarados head is too big. Okay. Oh, wait, there's no instructions on here. There shouldn't be, it's just a ball. Dude, it has the energies up there. Fighting energy. Yo, that's sick, dude. Oh, the build quality on this is really good. And the coloring and, and the painting on it is really nice. And the jewels are pretty cool too. So anyway, I'm gonna surprise you. I'm gonna put something in here and then I'm gonna open it up and you're gonna see what's inside. Here we go. We have inside of my blinged out ball, base set miniature. Also a pickup from Etsy, but we're gonna open one of these real quick just for fun. There are actually cards inside of here. Energy, okay. Coughing. The Geodo. Do we get a hollow? Bruh. Wait, let's we gotta open. We we gotta get something. There's gotta be a hollow in here. 
a Machop, a War Turtle stick. Oh, first edition, let's go, I didn't even know. Ghastly, Bill, Super Potion, Energy, and, oh, that's it? Oh, come on, all right, here we go. This is, this is it. Oh no, another coughing. Arcates, we got Vulpix, Maintenance, and an energy. All right, well, right in our Pokeballs. Or the Crown Jewels. What did he say? Hey. Sleeping Charmander with Flickering Tail. Aww. He's sleeping. This, though, is an iconic scene from the anime, of course. It's like the leaf, like, protecting it from the rain, because if it, if it goes out, then, you know, it's lights out, and we don't want that to happen. This is storytelling in a bottle right here, and I definitely want to check this out. And it comes with a pink USB cable, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Boom! Another Royal Mail. Let's open this up. We got packing peanuts, my favorite. Okay, let's transfer. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, With the pink cord, we got the pink cord with it. Oh, look at that. Oh, hold up, where's the leaf at? Uh -oh. oh no. Oh no. The leaf broke. I can't believe that happened. Okay, well that's okay. You know why? Because we got super glue. <laughs> Um, somewhere. A few moments later. I wasn't able to find super glue, but I did find some rubber cement. Ooh, it stinks. So I could probably just dab it, right? Like this. Dab, 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 and pop this on here. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Maybe if I... Ah, oh, it's cold. Ow! Um... Uh, tape. If at first you don't succeed, beat up the video until you do. All right, check it out. Totally fixed it. So let's turn it on. I'm so sorry, Charmander. Why is this cord so long? Three, two, one, boom. Yo, there we go. Why did that take so long? Because the cord is a mile long. There, I, I'm hiding the tape in the back. I hope you feel better. I did not help you at all, but if you want some help with your cards, head on over to TCG Dash Stadium. No real Pokemon were harmed in this video, by the way, just so you know. Anyway, check out some of the other fun things and binge watch the other essay videos. We picked up so many weird things over the years here, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.